Texas is a sports crazy state, but more importantly, I feel like the when people are shopping for homes, what they're looking for is a man cave. Um, let's talk about man cave accessories. Let's maybe maybe the coolest man cave accessory we've seen. Uh, we're joined by uh, by Keith Smith, uh, the CEO of Big League Lighting. Uh, hi, Keith. Hi. How are you? Doing great. Thanks for for stopping in. Thanks for having uh, me. We're looking at this. Um, it, it, for the podcast listeners who can't see it, uh, this is a, a a lamp made with the Prosper helmet. Uh, this is, I've got to tell you, I've got two brothers. If I were to walk in to one of their birthday parties and say, "Hey, uh, this is for you for your birthday," I feel like I feel like I would immediately shoot to the top of the family power rankings. Pro- probably so. This we should is have, we should have a conversation after this. <laughs> this is incredible. All right, I, you, you just you just signed your sales own, mode all day. You signed your own. That's a problem for you. Uh, Let's start. Like first and foremost, uh, how did you get the idea for this? Because this, I've never seen anything like this. So I hear that a lot. I've never seen anything like this, and it's unique, and so on and so forth. My son is a lacrosse player in mm. Prosper, which is where we're based, and the origins actually have to do with my wife. She wanted to put some of her crafts in a closet that my son had all of his lacrosse gear. And lacrosse, much like football, is a high contact sport, and you have to get new helmets about every other year. And he had about six helmets in there. And we're taking it out, and he says, Dad, what are you going to do with that? And I said, I don't know. I'm going to take it to replay or play it against sports, what have you, uh, see if I can get five, ten bucks for it, whatever. And he got relatively upset, and he said, hey, that's my, my first helmet, my first stick. Can you do something with it? And I said, buddy, I'm in finance. I have no idea. <laughs> and he said, you'll figure it out. So it was sitting by our fireplace, and my wife and I were actually having a drink at the end of the week talking about work, and it was getting dark. And she literally reached over and turned a table lamp on. And I looked at the lamp and I looked at my son's stuff. And I said, I wonder if I can make a lamp with the helmet as the sh- the shade and the other gear as the base. And she kind of chuckled. And I did it that weekend. And for giggles and grins, I threw it on the Prosper Lacrosse website. And I had seven orders the next day. And it is Jeez. just taken off. And then I started to incorporate other sports. So Well, and that, that's the thing is that um – I feel like once you see it, you know, and, and I hope that people who are, you know, obviously if you're watching the show right now, you're seeing it right now. But if you're on the podcast, uh, I hope you'll go to BigLeagueLighting.com and just take a look at this because it's striking. Like you look at it and you go, oh, oh, that, oh, okay. And then like that's even with it turned off. When Absolutely. you turn it on, it, it like takes on its, uh, its own new character. It, it really does. And, and part of my goal with my company is to make something that means something to players, parents, coaches, or fans, make it functional. I mean, there are thousands and thousands of pieces of sports memorabilia that individuals have in their homes that are sitting on a shelf or just, you know, it means something to them, but it's in a curio case. This is actually a functional piece. Yeah. Like people tell me all the time, hey, I actually read by this every night or it's on my desk and I'm able to do paperwork by it and it has a story to tell. Um, so every single one of them, if it's old memorabilia, they have a story to tell and it's a really great conversational piece as well. Oh, and, and that's so true because like, how many times have you gotten like a tchotchke for like for your desk, right? And you're like, oh, well, this is nice. It's a it's a paperweight, and, sure. you know. But how often are you going to need a paperweight? This is something like an actual functional use, absolutely, uh, that you can use. So you know, if if you need it for your man cave or just your desk or your office, like it just seems like it would fit perfectly. Um, so you you start. You, you said you were in finance. You, you start this this process there with kind of the uh the prosper lacrosse helmet how did it how did it grow how did kind of the the whole business get started so literally i just started experimenting with other helmets i would go down to replay or play it against sports and get one for five bucks and see what i could do with it and um it's evolved the first uh football helmet lamps were very crude Mm -hmm. um but they've evolved to where they're they're very um durable i ship these things all over the world you'd be amazed how many of these go to europe um, Man, really? Absolutely. Absolutely. You'd be amazed how many lacrosse players are in New Zealand. It's kind of funny. Mm. Um, but it's just been an ever evolving um, process. And obviously being in Texas and, and I mean, irrespective of what anyone thinks, football is and always will be king mm-hmm. in Texas. So I, I realized quickly that I needed to have a product that was appealing to the football fan in Texas. And uh, you see you see what I came up with. Well, and the other thing that I think is so cool, and maybe we, we can't see it, uh, I don't know if the, the shot can get it, but the base is the state of Texas. Absolutely. Like that you you're 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 singing my song here. Sure. I mean I, I think that's I think that's incredible. Um and so these are 
these can be pretty pretty well custom made. Is that, is that right? So um, with any sort of base, uh, I can do pretty much the Western U.S. I've really upset some people in New England because Massachusetts is a little bit difficult to do. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and I, can you do Rhode Island? Uh, well, you'd be surprised how many people have asked that. Um, but Western U.S. states are pretty easy to do. Unfortunately, based upon the s- shape of the state, mm-hmm. sometimes it's difficult to do, like in Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, if it's not the state of Texas, they come in a rectangular shape that is really appealing. Sometimes people think when I tell them what I do, like, oh, it's got to be overpowering and humongous. It's really not. It's the standard It's the standard size of any, any lamp in, in your home at Right. So. It's, it's super interesting. We're talking uh, with Keith Smith of, uh, of Big League Lighting, uh, bigleaguelighting.com is where you can find it. Here on Texas Football Today, get involved in the conversation, hashtag TF Today. Okay, so then what other, what projects would you say that you've taken on uh, with Big League Lighting that you've you've maybe enjoyed the most? I imagine this is uh, like a cool creative, uh, like, ex- not experiment, a, a cool creative process for you as well. Sure. So the, the projects that are really, that mean the most to me are the ones where, um, a grandparent or um, a parent or a coach will call me and say, hey, especially coaches, mm-hmm. hey, I'm getting out of the industry. I've been in for, or getting out of coaching. I've been in for 30 years. I have my one of my team's helmet from my second stop at when I was an assistant. Mm-hmm. Can you do something with it? Those are really, really that, – that really means something to them. Um, I had a one of the, my favorite ones is I had a, a guy who contacted me and said his son's birthday is coming up. And in 1976, he played in Plano. Mm. And this guy has held on to his Plano helmet since 1976, and he said, "I got a, he's got a pretty big birthday coming up. Can you do something with it? I got this thing, and it looked like it had been in a garage for 40 years, and it had been. Um, I was able to, to refurbish it a little bit and, and make it um, to where the, the guy started crying when he got it. It, wow. really, it really means something. I also really enjoy working um, with booster clubs and, for fundraisers. Um, I do a lot of um, stuff where – organizations are hey we're doing it have have a you know fight cancer event can you produce one for us and i I love doing that all day long the ones that really mean something they all mean something well because that's that's the other thing is that you know i bet there are literally thousands hundreds of thousands of people across the state who have maybe a football helmet uh, from from when they played high school or some sort of thing i i might actually now i think about it and how many of those are in an attic? Sure. And that you go and maybe you see that once a year, mm-hmm. maybe, maybe twice a year if, if, if you have to clean out the attic. But that, to me, like this is such a, a, cool, a cool opportunity to turn into an actual functional piece. Uh, let's, let's say, though, I, I, let's, what if somebody's super interested in, in one of these, but they don't have a helmet or they don't have a piece of sports equipment, what would you advise them then? So it really depends on if you want an old high school helmet. Mm. Um, that's something that I can source those, and I can work with the school district to get stickers and logos and things of that nature. Um, if it's something where you want your fav- favorite collegiate or professional team, I can source that gear as well for you and, and convert it, convert it uh, into what you see here. Interesting. That's 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 very cool. So really, the, the sky's the limit here for what you can put together. Absolutely, it is. I mean, there's a lot of diehard fans, as we know, with Texas collegiate football that um, never set foot on the field, but watch every, watch every Saturday and live and die by what their teams do. They'll call me and say, "Hey, I don't have this helmet." Don't worry about it. I can take can care of it. I can get it. We can we can make it happen. That's super so. cool. Um, Thank you. Okay, so what about then? Then let's say because there you know there are people who maybe uh, are looking at this and be say, boy, that would be a great gift for somebody in in my life. But they're not a huge sports fan. Do you get do you get non sports orders? So I get non sports orders. I've um, and certainly um, it's easy to do a, a baseball, football, hockey, softball, lacrosse, cheerleading. Um, the the best non sports orders I've done are firefighter lamps where I actually take oh, cool. I take a firefighter's old helmet and uh, they do great for anniversary retirement um, or even memorial events and mm-hmm. I mount it on an old timey fire extinguisher so there's some there's some opportunity there um, I haven't really had many requests for non sports I've done some uh, electrician line workers where they use their they use their <laughs> yeah. old helmets and they use a, a an old old style meter and mm-hmm. it's just if it has if it has a helmet and a base i can I can do something it, with it. is there anything that you found uh just to to make pe- make sure people understand you know any sort of limitation have, is there anything that you found it's like man I've tried to make it work it just doesn't work so I would love to be able to do basketball soccer and volleyball. Yeah. 
Um, unfortunately, uh, until they start putting headgear in those, I can't. It's difficult to do because yeah. the, the ball will deflate over time, and it just doesn't. It doesn't look appealing at all. Right. Um, now, that's not suggesting for a moment we, we don't have that in R and D, but. It would, yeah. be, it would be good to get that done. It, it's really cool. It's Big League Lighting. Um, uh, and so what's the best way for people to, to get in touch? So just go to BigLeagueLighting.com. Um, there is a form that you can fill out there that has some basic information. We will contact you back. We try to get these turned in a relatively um, quick timeline. Um, we, as I mentioned, we do business all over the world, uh, but it's always great to be able to do stuff here in Texas. Yeah. And I think that that's, that's interesting to note is that, you know, cause we do have viewers and listeners from, from all, you know, expats sure. and people who, who listen, um, all over the, the States and all over the world that you will, you know, if you're in Washington, you'll ship to Washington. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Abs- absolutely. Absolutely. We're having, I was having a conversation earlier. I ship a lot of these North of the Red River. Mm-hmm. Um, and mm. For there's just a, a ton of diehard collegiate fans, a ton of diehard professional um, fans. Um, yeah, I, I can ship them anywhere. It's really cool. BigLeagueLighting.com is where you can find more information on these. These are uh, these are in, in, incredible. They're pretty um, awesome. Yeah. yeah. So so and, and then this is this is um, some how what's the what's the the timeline for one of these? So I would. It really depends if you need us to order the gear. There is a little bit of a, a lag time with the, the supplier and vendor there. But if it's something where, oh, you know, Billy's birthday's this weekend yeah. and it's Tuesday, but I have his stuff, if I, I can I can turn these in about a day if wow. it's a quick timeline. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now we've got a couple more here I want to make sure we, sure, we, sure. we get me, to. Sure, uh, sure. Let me so take this down. Ahead. I do want to, if I may, yeah. finish it. So one of the things that's really appealing about the football lamps is there's a lot of people that have – signed footballs from their favorite collegiate player Mm -hmm. or they have a game ball from when they were in high school what have you this is designed to actually come off oh cool so if this is a collegiate um lamp you could actually take it down uh next time you go to a game or if it was a professional you could get it signed and put it right back right back up that's really cool because i mean you think about like i think about when when you talk with coaches you mentioned the coaches who are are um you know around the around the state who who try to find you know, they, they have all this memorabilia and stuff like that. The, the things we see the most are helmets and, and footballs, like all over these offices that we go to and talk with coaches. So here's another one. Now, this is awesome. Wow. This is – this. Uh, I wonder if that, that that's game used. <laughs> <laughs> Might be. I can't tell. Actually, there's a little bit of a story behind this one. So this one um, comes from the present head coach at Frisco Independence, a, guy named, a buddy of mine named uh, Jason Lavender. Mm-hmm. And – so Jason grew up in Wichita Falls, and he was able to go to school at Texas Tech and play under Spike Dykes and has a long uh, tenure with multiple schools. He's been in Independence for about five years, and when he approached me about making him one, I said, well, which helmet would you like to use? Because he played in the Sun Bowl, he played in the Cotton Bowl, and he said, I want to use my original helmet from eighty nine ninety from Wichita Falls. Wow. So that's something – and. Like, I can clean them up very well, but he said, hey, look, I want the battle scars. I want the patina on there. Now, obviously, this is a newer ball, Mm -hmm. but he has a ball that he wants to put on there that is one of his game balls. But you can see, you know, this is from the late 80s, early 90s, but I can do them all the way back to, I mean, essentially when they became hard shells. Mm -hmm. Uh, So uh, I've actually had coaches say, hey, I have a staff of seven, or there's collegiate coaches that have called me and said, hey, I have 30 people on my staff. Can you make one mm-hmm. for everyone? So right. they, they make great gifts, um, and they're they're economically priced as well. We yeah. started talking about that. So That's really, really cool. All right, so one more. One more, yeah, sure. Because I do think, you know, we, we focus, those are obviously two high school helmets, but uh, we got a lot of we got a lot of Red Raider fans out there. We got a lot of Roadrunner fans out there. We got a lot of Owl fans out there, Aggies, Longhorns, you know, that that I I feel like when, when you know off the top I kind of mentioned how this seems like the perfect man cave uh, you know accoutrement so to speak <laughs> this I just feel like yeah. really yeah this this is going to speak to a lot of people this is this is pretty cool yeah I mean this this just uh, speaks to that individual again who is will be a lifelong Longhorn fan and maybe they want one for their kids room maybe they want one for their boardroom maybe they they just want one for their house and. It's really just a unique way to incorporate the love of your university or your professional team as well um, into, again, a functional piece. And it is a conversation starter, irrespective of what room it's in, irrespective of who comes over. Yeah. People see these things and they're like, wow, that's that's really cool. I never thought about doing something like that. So, um, And again, if you have, I don't know, a, a signed football from one of your favorite Longhorns, you can just pop it in there and it you know, it tells a story. It's really cool. Yeah. 
There, yeah. there are a lot of times whenever teams give this to their coaches where they'll sign the bases or they'll sign the top of the shell, what have you, and it becomes something that um, – it becomes a real memento. And these things, they're powered by LED lights, so literally – if it was treated like a normal lamp here in the United States, this thing would be good for about 103 years. So, That's amazing. Yeah. So got a little nerdy there. But I, I like no. I'm, 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 you have you have <laughs> you're adding value to the proposition. There you go. That's there right. you go. Yeah, so yes. and they're they're also very very durable. I mean, you could grab the top of the helmet. I could grab the base, and we can't pull it apart. There's That's eight great. there's eight points yeah. of contact. They don't. I've never had a. I've done thousands of them. I've never had yeah, a single Yeah, because these, these aren't, aren't going to, like, tip over no, or anything like no, that. No, no, yeah. no, no, not at all. That's really cool. Not at it's, all. It's really cool. It's, it's Keith Smith of, of Big League Lighting. Check out BigLeagueLighting.com. Uh, get it for the football fan in your life, or get it for yourself. Treat yourself. You deserve it. Um, <laughs> Keith, really appreciate your time, man, and uh, best of luck with all this. This is super cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. There he is, Keith Smith, the CEO of Big League Lighting. It's BigLeagueLighting.com is where you can find it. Uh, very cool. Super duper cool. Super cool. Um, and I, w- I will only say this. We were in the break, and this is 100% true. We were in the break, and we were talking about, and, and Powers, you asked us, and it's okay, you don't have his headset, it's on, it's fine. Yeah. Um, Powers asked us, he's like, oh, those got to be like 500 bucks, right? Yeah. And I was like, and I'll be honest, I was like, oh, kind of afraid. I don't know if I want yeah. to. Mention. We went on, we went on their website. I'd, I'd buy one for that price. Yeah. Like that's that, that yeah. it was pretty it's a good deal. reasonable. It's a good I deal, thought, to, especially so. if you're trying to preserve like a memento yes. that's just been sitting in a closet somewhere anyway. Mm-hmm. It's it's a great deal. Um, yeah, it really is. So it's bigleaguelighting.com. I think tomorrow because we didn't think about how to give this away. Yeah, uh, we have we have a Dave Campbell's Texas football lamp. Yeah, and I kind of want it, but I've been told we have to give it away. We which, could pretend we gave it away. Oh, congratulations to. Uh, yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, congratulations to Greg Tepper yep. um, we'll think of some way to give it away tomorrow